I hope you enjoy it because it's hard to start, the trigger doesn't work, and uh, it only works on full throttle, kinda, unless you turn it off three times in quick succession, in which case it won't start at all, or if it does, it won't blow hard. So I hope you enjoy your blower bow because it just barely runs, just barely. It's a piece of hot garbage. The last time I used it for real, it just cut out on me for no reason. So I hope you enjoy your stolen blower. I hope you have fun with it. I hope it frustrates you. I actually hope you sink a whole bunch of money on it just to discover that the rings need to be replaced. I don't know if they need to be replaced, but kind of hoping that they do now that I don't own it anymore. And I hope you pay to get those rings replaced. I hope you spend all kinds of money, but I hope you didn't realize how much it was going to cost to get those rings replaced. I hope you didn't realize that. And I hope that you then get a bill somewhere in the range of four to five hundred dollars and you could have just bought a brand new nice blower for four to five hundred dollars but instead you got my garbage blower that just barely works i hope you're happy i hope you enjoy it i hope you get so frustrated you throw it away or perhaps give it back to me you know hey folks right here we're doing cut and trim so this is kind of a crazy uh video um so i'm, I'm building a, a or replacing a section of fence in my yard and uh, it's like right now it's like one of those like mid-level or mid-height fences and I'm putting it up to six feet or whatever the height is and uh, so I got unloaded my truck and started heading down the road and as I'm going down the road I realized I was like you know it didn't really take that long to unload my equipment and I, was like, and I looked realized I'd never unloaded my backpack blower and it's not on the rack. So I went back home, looked, and sure enough, it's gone. Somebody stole it last night. Um, and, but you know, it, well, and actually what's really ironic, I'm gonna show this to you. Um, just yesterday, I had recorded a video that's going up next week, and this is how that video uh, starts. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny that I cracked a joke like that and then like, boom. So, I uh, <clears throat> when I when I realized it was stolen, you know, I had a lot of mixed feelings. Um, the first thing that I felt though was like, uh, I'm sorry, this phone is heavy. Um, the first thing I felt actually was kind of was gratitude. Uh, gratitude for a couple things um, first off I was gra grateful that of all the equipment that could have been stolen they stole my backpack blower the piece of equipment I used the least during the lawn season um, but then I also felt really grateful that I had had that backpack for as long as I've had it um, the story behind that backpack is my neighbor he likes to go to flea markets and wherever and he'll just buy up whatever somebody's got fix it up and sell it himself and so back in 2016 he had said hey I, I uh, bought this backpack blower do you want it and I was like oh sure how much is it and it was he said 75 bucks uh, and it was a BR 550 um, which is essentially a BR 600 there's almost no difference between the two which is why uh, steel stopped selling it I think and um, so he sold it to me for 75 bucks back in 2016. I've had it ever since. Made a lot of money with it. Um, haven't had to put much in, money into it to keep it running. I think total, uh, it's what, 50? I put 75 bucks in it. So in, two, in four and a half years, I've spent uh, a total of $150 on that blower. Which I think for four and a half years, I think that's great. Uh, between you know sale price and parts so I, I felt I feel actually really grateful that I had it for as long as I did and that I was able to use it for as long as I did um, and you know I, I'm not happy that somebody stole from me uh, but I honestly don't feel a lot of anger or upset I, I feel very uh, uh, I, I hate to use this term because of what I'm about to say next but I feel very content um, I'm grateful that I had it for a while I had it and uh, you know I'm trusting God that it's 
gonna get replaced with something better. I mean, maybe I'll end up having to spend the money on that. Um, but, uh, you know, a scripture came to my mind. It's, uh, I already forgot the reference. Um, but it's, you know, I, for I've learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. And so, you know, I've been robbed. Obviously, I'm going to take further steps to uh, um, try and make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, this, unfortunately, it was a pretty easy theft for whoever got it. Um, I don't feel like getting into why uh, on this video. If you want to ask in the comments, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what happened and you'll just be shaking your head at me. Um, but, you know, God allows things to happen in our life. And, you know, we, or I choose to see what I can, what good I can get from it. So, you know, I'm very grateful that I had access to that thing. I'm grateful that if it was going to be stolen, it was stolen now. I basically don't use backpack blowers, uh, except during, uh, the fall cleanups and spring cleanups, but just for lawn mowing, I, I haven't used a backpack blower in probably two or three years. So I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to have had it. I'm grateful that if it was going to be stolen, it was stolen now. And I'm grateful nothing else was stolen. Um, you know, cause I, I'm trying really hard to learn, uh, to be content. And I feel like God's been really teaching me that. So set me up for when things do happen, you know, it doesn't rile me up. And that's the other thing, like, you know, we're in business, man. So, you know, I can sit here and be mad and get angry and get like, Ugh! you know, but that doesn't help anything. All that does is jack up my head and get me angry. And it takes me for longer to get to the solution because first I got to calm down and then I got to try and clear my head. And you know, is it unfair? Yes. But you know, part of taking ownership for things is, you know, instead of focusing on what someone else shouldn't have done, start focusing on what you should have done. So I know I was careless and something got stolen. So I know what I need to do to tighten up and I'm gonna do that. Uh, should someone have not stolen my stuff because it's not theirs? Yeah, they should have. But this is the world we live in. So am I going to get all fired up and frustrated and angry? No. I'm just going to figure out what I can do to keep it from happening again. Life happens. Now, you know what is kind of ironic here? <laughs> this, I, uh, this occurred to me as I was loading, uh, loading up. Uh, in 2016, when my uh, uh, blower and trimmer got stolen, um, and maybe it was that. I don't, no, no, it was after that. Uh, the last time something got stolen from me, um, I went to Home Depot and bought some fencing and built a higher fence to keep the criminals out. Uh, so something got stolen and I bought a fence. Uh, this time I was buying a fence and discovered something got stolen. <laughs> it's kind of ironic how that happened. So I guess the uh, last thing I would say is I just have a message for my thief. Please know I've got a set of skills, set of skills that I've been honing over the course of a very long career. Please know, I will find you, and when I do, I will get my BR-550 back, or I'll kill you. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope you enjoy it, because it's hard to start, the trigger doesn't work, and uh, it only works on full throttle, kinda, unless you turn it off three times in quick succession, in which case it won't start at all. Or if it does, it won't blow hard. So I hope you enjoy your blower bow because it just barely runs, just barely. It's a piece of hot garbage. The last time I used it for real, it just cut out on me for no reason. So I hope you enjoy your stolen blower. I hope you have fun with it. I hope it frustrates you. I actually hope you sink a whole bunch of money on it just to discover that the rings need to be replaced. I don't know if they need to be replaced, but kind of hoping that they do now that I don't own it anymore. And I hope you pay to get those rings replaced. I hope you spend all kinds of money, but I hope you didn't realize how much it was going to cost to get those rings replaced. I hope you didn't realize that. And I hope that you then get a bill 
somewhere in the range of four to five hundred dollars and you could have just bought a brand new nice blower for four to five hundred dollars but instead you got my garbage blower that just barely works i hope you're happy i hope you enjoy it i hope you get so frustrated you throw it away or perhaps give it back to me you know no hard feelings <laughs> all right i gotta build a fence uh this is randy with doing cut and trim have a good one